Hi guys, welcome back. It's time to get this finished. So I think this is like episode six, I think. I think I lost count, but all we have left is this little section over here. So we should be able to finish this up in no time. And we'll be done with this one. Okay. Okay. Let's get you zoomed in, get you set up so you can see what I'm doing here. We'll work our way kind of like through there, I think. So how's everyone doing? Did you guys start your own diamond painting project? I have so many, I might do, like only if we get enough people that want, want me to continue doing these, um, we will do. Um, some more on air if I get enough people that request that. So make sure you leave a comment saying you want to see more of this. I figured this will take maybe around a half hour or so. So a rough estimate it was between two and a half and three hours. But of course I'm on video talking, not going as fast as I normally would. Normally I would have music on and I'd be paying more attention to, you know, to what I'm doing than the trying to talk and everything at the same time. So that's not bad for a, a project this size. Like I said, you do a gem one for your first one. If you're brand, brand new, you'll, you will enjoy it so much better. And this is, this isn't a full page, a full, I don't know what they call it, a full drill or something like that. Um, some of them, the whole background has, the diamond drills all over it too. So this one is just basically the print itself that has the, I'm, I'm missing, I'm getting a little off angle because of, you know, doing this on the camera. So I gotta kinda keep pushing them back because my aim is a little off when I've got it back so far. Let's see, I got to move it a little bit. We're moving down that way, but we can get this done so much to do trying to keep up with videos plus all the rearranging in the house i'm moving my daughter upstairs and to the one we have it's a four bedroom house but they're not huge bedrooms the bedroom she's going i'm moving her office because she works from home and uh right now she's in the basement She's got an office in the back room down here. We have a furnished, a fixed up basement. But, um, so I want to move her upstairs though. And, uh, it's about a 10 by 11 room. And for work, she has like around three different, uh, two monitors, a laptop. And then she has about that many for her normal everyday use. So we're going to get everything into one room, all her computers. So... She wanted me to repaint it. I'm working on that. I've got just getting it ready. And then we decided to put, take the carpet out that's in there and put some laminate or something. And we haven't gone and looked yet because it'll be easier for her to roll around her chair from space to space. And then we put my, years ago, my husband had that was my craft room and stuff before he passed. And so he put shelves in the whole closet. So then I had since taken it out for a while and, and used it for hanging clothes instead. But now I put all the shelves back in so she can store stuff in the closet because she doesn't need another clothes closet. She's, she's not real into clothing. But she's got a lot of, you know, storage stuff. She's a big Lego girl. That's going to take me a while because I can't paint for a real long time because of my rheumatoid arthritis. I get a little sore, so I'm hoping to do, like, if, even if I can do one wall at a time, a day or whatever. And then, of course, I'll hire somebody to do the flooring. There's no way I'm doing the flooring. And then we'll have to get new shades. So we have to basically redo the whole thing because the shades are brown right now. Uh, Brown's not going to go with her new paint job. 
and everything else. So the dogs think it's just their big giant playroom right now because it's completely empty right now. So they think it's a big old playroom, which is fine. Let them play. So I'm going to start taping around all the molding and stuff. And hopefully maybe by the end of the week I can get... Well, not by the end of the week. This is a this is a Wednesday, so I don't think I'll quite get it done. But by this time next week, maybe, I will get it done, and then we can get the flooring. Guys, over here, I don't want to I don't want to do the flooring and set up an appointment yet because I honestly don't know how long it's going to take me to paint. I'm no spring chicken anymore. I haven't painted for years, and she wants. The lower level one color and the upper level a different color. So, yes, she wants me to, to challenge myself, I guess. She wanted a two color room. So, I'm going to do that. Goes off a little crooked as I'm talking. I'm going to move that over, make sure we're kind of staying in camera. I'm going to start with her room, and I may, if the painting goes pretty well, I may do my bedroom too. It's been a while since we painted. And uh, I'm not going to paint the living room and hallway in the kitchen. That's one kind of open space and I'll hire someone for that. That's that's too much for me. But I think I can tackle just the bedrooms. And I'll hire somebody to do the others. To those other three areas. Because you really, you know, they kind of need to stay all one color. You can't break it up really because it's all one space pretty much. Get some more blue. So that's what we're into now. And of course, you know, you take everything out of one room. And then you just kind of throw it in one end of this basement because we don't use it it's a furnished a finished basement i keep saying furnished it is furnished but it's a finished basement but we really don't spend a lot of time down here i'm re i record down here and i set up pretty much all my craft stuff down here but i think i'm gonna set my recording table up in the corner of my bedroom because the lighting is a little better than down here so i might do that after i get her all set up but I'll leave all my craft stuff down here. I, there's a lot of stuff. And so that's about the only thing. I come down to get my craft stuff. Um, one of my dogs don't really like the basement too much. She'll come down with me, but she doesn't like to stay because she's away from the door. She can't see outside down in the basement. So she can't even see outside. And she's not happy. If she can't see outside and keep an eye on everything, she's not happy. Doing that. So I'm just trying to stay on top of my videos and do that and enjoy my summer on top of all that. I didn't even do flowers yet. I don't know if I'm going to plant outside this year. I've just got so much inside stuff that I want to try. And I like that I got to paint when so I can open windows because I'm the smell of the paint can, you know, bother me sometimes. So I want to make sure I want to get the painting done now. I don't, I can't say I necessarily enjoy painting, but I'll do it. She can't paint. She's got too many health problems going on right now that she can't. I don't even want her helping me much. She can do all the organizing and stuff like that. Okay, got all that. In there, get some more. See how fast it was. Uh, so far, it's we're only nine minutes into this, and we only have just all this little area to do. Boy, that one looked like a seven for a minute. They're all ones though, but with all my glasses on, it looked like a seven. I was like, oh my god, freaking out. I'm like, no, Jean, you know it's a one. I'm like, what color are you putting in there, Jean? I have yet to make my own design because there is programs where you can kind of make your own design because you can, you know you can buy the little diamond things 
at stores now and stuff, but I have yet to do that. Cause I got too many kits to worry about. I keep seeing a cute kit. I did buy off of Timu. I bought, uh, I wanted to try. It's a Hello Kitty one, but it comes with a frame and everything. So I wanted to try that one to see what it was like and how well the frame is and stuff like that. So it wasn't very expensive. I think it was only around five. I don't know. I haven't showed it yet. And I haven't, I haven't did that haul, that haul I'm working on right now. And, um, so I thought I would try one of their kits. And like I said, it came with the frame and everything. And of course, you know, I had to choose Hello Kitty because why not? You know, kind of one of the ones I seen first. So I'm like, I'm taking it. I'll just take that one. And then if it's, if it works out nice and the kit is good, then we may make it some more because you know, the buy the frame separate and the buy, find a frame that is fairly close to the size. Come on out of there. It's always fun. So what is everyone up to this summer? Something fun, I hope. I don't think there's gonna be nothing fun this summer. We wanna really get focus on getting that room done so we can get her a new office and um, got some other stuff inside the house I wanna get done. Even though I could save all that to the winter, but I just wanna get it done because I don't, you know, I don't do much winter. I'm not a winter person, really. But I'm also not a heat person. I cannot sit outside in 100 degree weather. You won't find me out there. Nope, sorry. I'll just bask in my nice air conditioned house. And then you always hope when it's really, really hot and there's a storm that I don't lose my power because man, it's a little hot. You know it's hot when your dogs start laying on the hard floor instead of the carpeting. You know it's hot. And that's what they've been starting to do now. Like they'll just like in the kitchen, right right in the middle of the floor. And then there's a, we have a little piece of, um, by the front entry door. There's a little piece of uh, like linoleum before the carpet starts. And so she'll lay there, block the doorways. Still wanna replace the carpeting in the hallway in the living room. You know, we're in Wisconsin, so you kinda like the carpeting, but when you have two beagles, you know how much they shed. So getting the fur out of the carpeting isn't as easy as just swiffering it off the hard floors. So you're constantly vacuuming and I also have my own ca carpet shampoo. So I shampoo twice a year. I shampooed every three months when they were younger pups. Now twice a year seems to be okay. More if I need to. So I usually do around spring, summer, and then October, November. All the stuff there is to do when you own a house, right? You can't sit back and relax. Like the window should we be replaced pretty soon again? They're probably they're probably at least 20, 25 years old. They're doing not too bad, but some of them are kind of sticking really, really bad, so. OK, 
Okay, look at this. We're almost done, guys. Now, I would never do two and a half to three hours straight. There's, you know, I basically don't time myself. I just do it until I start kind of feeling pain. I mean, you know, because it's mostly my neck, shoulder areas, but sometimes my hands start cramping too from holding it. Then I usually stop. But I do like this. This, this has worked really well. All right, I think we got everything. See, that only took us another, you know, 15 minutes or so. Just looking it over, and we are done. Let's bring the camera back now so we can see. Now, this one will go in my little folder book. Do I still have it down here? I thought I took it upstairs, but just looking a quick. Oh, here it is. It's still here. Why don't we find a home for it in here until we find a permanent home in it. That's where it goes in my little folder here. Move that. And it should fit because it's, uh, yeah, 30 by 30. It looked like it was too wide for a minute, but let's see. I can back it right about there. Now that back of this one. Don't know what was there. Okay. Take you up. So let's get you started first. It might be a little too wide. I might have to cut. It's a 30 by 30, but sometimes your borders are a little bit bigger than norm. Okay, that's going in. So let's start this one back on this side. And we add it to our collection of goodies. So if you didn't watch the other episode with, and I showed you this, we'll quick go through all my collection. It's going to be hard with the glare though. Here, I can hold it maybe like that. And our butterfly. My welcome sign that I keep wanting to put on the door. Yeah, it's not a beagle though. I got I got the butterflies going, huh? That one's blue too. Unicorn. I know I'm a big kid. This is my Dumbo one. A very pretty Hello Kitty, and the troll one. I love that troll one. But I love the gems there. I think all these are. Most of these are all gems. This one's not. I think I got two that are not gems. Oh, these two, too. I got more than I thought. Actually, all those are. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more diamond painting, please leave a comment. And like I said, it'll be always on Wednesday so that nobody else has to watch it. Or if they don't like watching it, they can just pass right on by. And it's not affecting our other things. These remember to keep... I got a container upstairs. It's actually a diamond. I should have brought that down too. It's actually a, a four diamond dots, and I just keep all the gems in there because I don't save. I don't save the rugged plastic ones. I just keep the gems here. Let's put that back up there. All right, guys. Make sure you leave me a comment whether you want to see more. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.